So here's another opening example, something basic. So this is a, an antiquated line of the Italian game, also known as Gioco Piano. And the way that it typically goes is with bishop b4. Because if you don't, thanks for the link, by the way. If you don't check, you're going to get run down. In fact, maybe I should have put this as an evaluation exercise. After bishop b6, we can evaluate this position as well. I'll just tell how I would evaluate it as an example. I would examine how white has spectacular development. It's not just the pieces that are out in the middle, but the potential of the pieces that are here. This bishop is really locked away compared to this bishop. So white's development is, is pretty great. They also have great control of the center. Besides the major factors like peace activity, king safety, material, there are also some minor factors like pawn structure, those factor in, but I think of them as subcategories of the other factors. So here I would say white is extremely active, partly because they can play a move like e5 or d5 in this position. Bullying the black pieces and forcing them to adopt less active posts. So that's an example. But anyway, bishop b4 is usually how this goes. Oh, Strider's live. Um, well, thanks for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you another time. I'll try to watch your stream at some point. So, knight c3 is an interesting line, and uh, I think evaluating it will be rather difficult if we just sit down and do it. But let's look at something more concrete. Knight takes e4 is the main line. It's a free pawn because of the pin. However, white gets some compensation by castling. And then black's problem is, how are they going to deal with their hanging knight on e4? So one way that people tried to deal with it is with knight takes c3, pawn takes c3, and bishop takes c3. So let's evaluate this position. Um, remember, the three things that we need to think about are king safety, material, and peace activity. I'm going to put that in the chat, but if anyone would like to suggest an evaluation and the reasoning, feel free. We can also kind of suggest an order of importance. Probably king safety is the most important. Peace activity is the second most important and material is lower than that. I know that um, coach Ramesh, who is associated with Pragnananda and many other strong Indian players, he includes the pawn structure as one of the factors, but he says that it's like the fourth most important factor. And he made an interesting observation that Beginners typically get their order of importance kind of upside down. Instead of valuing king safety and activity the most, they value material and pawn structure the most. And I find this to be quite true. Rarely you will see beginner players playing with a bad pawn structure. If they do, it's probably because they pushed all the pawns in front of their king, which is more of a king safety problem. Anyway, anyone think they know the evaluation of the position? Without even calculating. Calculation comes after, so let's evaluate this position as we see it right in front of us. All right, so white has development, a safe king, black has two pawns. Okay, good. So these are definitely the factors. How do you think it, it adds up? Do you think white's better, black's better, or is it equal? And maybe just to explain a little bit, So white's activity looks like this. This rook has active prospects. It's not stuck in the corner. This knight has active prospects. It controls the center and it can leap in on g5. This bishop has full range of two diagonals. This bishop is eyeing 
a really critical diagonal, especially for an attack on the king. And this queen can go almost anywhere on the board within two moves. This rook also has an open file available. So I would evaluate that white is better here, despite the lack of two pawns. But this is something that you partially need to figure out from experience. Um, Nerf Russian said that it depends whether or not whether or not white can act on the weak king. I don't think it actually depends on concrete details. I don't think you have to exactly know what will happen from this position. I think that you just need to have some faith that you are better. I believe that a lot of strong players, they have faith. They believe in the principles of chess, and they don't need to know exactly what's going to happen before they act. So in this position, white is definitely better. This position is winning for white. They have more than a piece advantage. And of course, you can only see that in the concrete details. Yeah, Chony Flo got it. White is definitely better. So, um, and welcome, Chony Flo. So, they're totally better, and concrete analysis will tell you who exactly how better they are. But it makes sense. In the opening, you have to castle your king. That's something we learned from experience. And you shouldn't go pawn hunting. This bishop moved so many times, and it will move again after the move queen b3. After queen b3, black is just dead lost. And this has been known for something like 400 years. I believe this was first studied by Greco, who was born in the year 1600, and he died in 1635. So somewhere in that window, he studied this. And uh, the most critical line, probably black's only hope now, is to take that rook. And so now white is down, if you count on your fingers, seven points. But after bishop takes f7, the king's safety becomes a permanent issue. And after bishop g5, the queen is nearly trapped. And after knight e7, knight e5, um, my favorite way to play this position is with bishop g6, with everybody staring at a really critical square on f7. So this is a well-known trap. It's been studied for like 400 years. Probably there's a YouTube video about this in particular. But my point is that you can anticipate the existence of such a resource by evaluating the position in the first place. In this position, when we go down two pawns, we should get a feeling like, you know, maybe there's a tactic here. Maybe white is better, despite the absence of two pawns. So the evaluation should guide our calculation. 